Wake up, bitches! Welcome back, everybody, to Unundead Legacy. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hang out at the base until morning before we go retrieve our stuff. Um, because I had I don't have a third set of armor, and I have the bicycle, but I don't have another motorized vehicle. And it's nighttime, and I think it's gonna be smarter for us to just wait out until the morning before we get our stuff so i'm going to do some stuff around the base it looks like we can finally get our crops harvested which means we can get um these crop plots moved over so yeah let's just work on some stuff around the base generator requires fuel to operate oh right yeah i was looking in the wrong container there we'll do some stuff around the base uh until morning and uh harvest these uh, no, those are still growing. Okay. But these we can harvest and move. It looks like everything here is matured. Uh, so I need to go get a shovel. And we'll turn all these gas cans back into more gasoline. So... Oh. We might need to go make an oil shale run again. It uh, looks like we are going to have to do that. Okay, we can do that. Let me just double check, make sure there isn't any oil shale in here. There isn't. Um, okay. So, yeah, we need a shovel. And we got a shovel there. Also need to get something to eat and drink. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and throw back this gumbo. And do I have sham chowders i have one sham chowder okay and let's have um a mineral water and maybe a yucca juice smoothie Put those guys back there okay so let's head on upstairs oh uh should probably well actually i think it's fairly bright up on the roof let's go look again yeah, it's actually fairly light up here. Okay, so we're going to pick um, these crops and pick up the crop plots and go put them over in the new section. So let's get that going first. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. It's actually not nighttime yet. It was just so dark from the storm, I assumed it was. I didn't even look at the time. All right. You know what? Let's, um... We have two hours, actually. Um... Okay, so let's put this on, this on, this on. That on, and those on. We're gonna need a helmet light. I'd rather go get my stuff now if we can. Because then we have have it, you know. And for a weapon, uh, we have this M60. And no, I don't think I have a lot of... Uh, 7.62s, let's see. Sort that. Yeah, I don't have... I don't. Uh, oh! No, we do have 7.62s, okay. All right, let's um grab a couple bandages. Yeah, I, I, when I logged in, it was like super dark, and I just assumed it was night. Okay, we got a couple bandages, and we're just going to grab the bicycle. All right, let's see if we can get out there and get our stuff before dark. Yeah, we had some bad luck in the... <laughs> <laughs> the last episode. That was a crazy episode, man. <coughs> um, I don't usually... Well, yeah, I think it's fair to say that I... I try and remember 
to reload my weapon, but it's just so easy to forget sometimes, you know. And that's what killed us the second time. The first time was pure bad bad luck, but the second time was my stupidity. So we'll go retrieve our stuff and then um I don't know. We'll, we'll go back to the base and continue working on the garden anyways since we we started it. Uh and I should talk on it. I should have left all that seed back there. It's all right. We'll put it we'll put it in the motorcycle. Um, oh, no, I guess we won't put it in the motorcycle. Crap. We're, like, completely loaded up. Will any of that go in there? No. Okay. Well, here. Let's just... Let's just leave the bike there for now. I'll have to come back and get it later. Um, can we get to our stuff without having to fight a shit ton of Zekers? I didn't bring a tool with me. Is this easy to break? Nope. Okay, looks like we're going to have to go through the main way. Maybe all the zombos that we've killed so far are still dead. There we go. Okay, can we get all of that? Yep, we can. Okay, oh, and we're encumbered. Son of a beach. Can we take one of these and then move? Yeah, we can. Okay, we got it. Can I get on this and move? I cannot. Okay, we're going to have to stash a few things. Um, Is there storage on here? I can't remember. No, there isn't. That's for mods. You can put a... I think you can put a storage thingy on there, but... Okay, so we need just need to find a, can a container that's close enough by to put this stuff in. Uh, maybe that car, I guess? Nice. Okay, what is the heaviest? Well, the heaviest that we're willing to put in here for now. Let's put that in there. 329, 386. That's probably enough as long as we can ride the motorcycle. I am definitely going to put a marker here, though. And we're just going to call this stash so we know that I have stuff there. Okay, we can ride now. Um, can we also pick this up and ride? Oh, really? Seriously? Come on, game. All right, we'll put the bicycle in here, too. We're, like, right on the borderline there. Okay. Let's head back to the base. Um, I'm going to get all this inventory and stuff put away. And then when I'm ready to resume work on the garden, I will bring you guys back at that point. Okay, guys, we are back in business. Um, so, let's go ahead and grab um, all of this stuff from here. <coughs> oh, my goodness, excuse me. <clears throat> all this stuff from here. And um, we might we might make some more seeds, hops, flowers. Well, let's just um, 
Let's see where we are at the moment with the seeds that we have. So, let's see, where are we at? Oh, yeah, we got to finish uh, picking these up. So, let me get that done real quick. All right, so these crops still aren't quite ready. I think what I'm going to do is wait till they are ready before we plant anything and then then we'll replant in the ratios that um i want i want to have here so we'll put the crop plots down oh nope didn't want to put that there oh i gotta get all this metal crap out of the way too i forgot about that all right where is here let's put all the seed in here Those aren't actual seed. That's actual produce. But what I might actually do is put those in there too, just because I might need to make some more seeds to balance everything out. Um, let me go get my jackhammer. Uh, I, I need to remove all that scrap metal stuff out of the way, those pipes and whatnot. Now, what I want to do next, what's up here? Have we been up here? I'm sure we have been up here. Yeah, okay. Uh, I want to put some more of this, uh, of these trellises in. And it uh, looks like I left a pathway through here, which I guess that makes sense. If we wanted to have a pathway th through here, well, we don't really need to necessarily. <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh, do some more of these trellises here. So we wanted to go to here, I think. No, not there. Trim? Where did we get to those catwalks? Um. Well, here, I guess I'll... We can just do it this way. Copy sheep. There we go. And... I'm going to have to move that chest. Because it's right in the path there. Perfecto. All right, let's put all this stuff back in here. I'm going to just sit on these extra farm plots for now. Um, we have the wishing well. I was kind of thinking about putting it there, but... Then it blocks the path getting into where we need to go. All right, so that's not really going to work too well. I could put it over here. This is more for decoration than necessity. Just kind of give it the garden ambiance here. And then maybe we'll put a one of those down too, just so we have a little wheelbarrow to work with our crops. That was the idea anyway. <laughs> All right, let's set these back to normal blocks. And I need to go get some wood uh, to get these guys upgraded. Uh, otherwise, it's looking pretty good up here. Uh, we could maybe consider at some point maybe putting some lighting up here. Um, maybe even... Can you plant a tree in a farm plot? Could, maybe we can plant some trees up here too, uh, but I want to get I want to get the rest of that repaired and you know get all this crap out of here before we we go there. Um, you know we there's still a lot more work to do up on the roof, so we we're not 
we're not done yet for sure but yeah i'm kind of liking this all right well let's go get some wood and get those trellises upgraded and then um we have a score to settle with that freaking restaurant we're gonna go back and and get our vengeance or at least you know try and redeem my pride a little bit either that or we'll die again <laughs> you guys place bets on which, which one you think it's gonna be um but yeah we can't we can't let that go unanswered that's just not gonna happen all right let's get that in there get that in there pipes go in there before I forget too we need to repair our m60 what do I have on here for mods by the way let's take a look modify yeah, I, I can't make a drum extender mod, and I don't recall ever seeing one, um, you know, from a trader. We really should probably put a rad remover on here instead of a crippler, though. Uh, getting a little sidetracked here. Let's go finish the, let's go finish the fence first. Yeah, I know, it's not, it's not loaded anymore. But we're going to keep modifying it. it. Might look nice to paint these trellises, I don't know, white maybe or something. Something we can maybe look at doing. Okay, well, that is for the nonce anyways. My garden, guys. Uh, aside from the fact that we need to replant it in the right ratios. But um, I think that's going to give us plenty of crops to sustain us for the rest of our adventure here in Undead Legacy. It's a nice little garden. Rooftop garden. Uh, painting the trellis, maybe adding some lights to it. Possibly, you know, painting this to look, you know, I don't know, more woodish or something so it's more of a garden look instead of a just reinforced concrete look. Those are more things we could maybe do later on, but we got the bulk of it done, so that's good. Okay, so what were we doing? Oh, we were going to look at a uh, rad remover mod for the M60. Oh, so this is, this is what I have for mods. Can I make a rad remover mod? I don't know. Yeah, see, I, I don't know the recipe for the drum magazine. Rad remover. Oh, not EAD. Rad. There we go. Nope, I can't make one of those either. Now, I have that on something. Yeah, I don't want to take it off my shotgun. So I use that a lot. Oh, wait a minute. I do have a rad remover on here. What am I thinking? Did I Was I looking at the wrong thing? No, I think my brain's just fried. Now, okay, so we do have a rad remover on there. We're good then. Um, I don't know if there's anything better than the Crippler to put on there. See, none of these are gun mods anyways. Well, that is, but I don't want to burst on it. That's for shotguns. Yeah, I think we have the best mods on, on it that we, that we can have on it. Okay, so let's get it reloaded. So we can hold 86 rounds. Uh, all right. So, yeah, let's um, let me get a couple things put away here. And then we're going to go back to that restaurant. And we're going to kick the ever-living crap out of the place. And get even for it killing us. Even though it was my completely 110% my stupidity that killed us. That's besides the point. We still have to go back. We got to do it on principle, guys. That's That's what it is. All right, let's just, um, let's do this. Let's get the gas out of here. We're going to, no, not that. We're going to pick you up and take you down with the mining cart. Um, wow, you're heavy. Motorcycle, hello. <coughs> Are we ready to go? Ammo, check. Meds, check. I candy friend loot check. Painkillers, all the stuff we need for criticals, couple things of honey. 
Um, plaster cast and splint. We don't need both of those things. We'll put those in there. Uh, why don't we take a Fort Bites and a and a recog with us, just in case the shit hits the van again, which it probably will. Well, it definitely will before we get to the end loot. Maybe we'll, we'll down nose for a little extra oomph. Uh, we got Roberta the robotic drone with us. We got food, we got drink. Everything's in reasonably good repair. We could probably... Uh, we already repaired that. We could probably stand to touch that up a little bit. And I think we're in pretty good shape on everything else. Oh, armor. Why's our armor looking? It's getting down there. Do we have enough stuff to repair our armor? Okay, so we need seven more pieces to repair our helmet. And uh, look in here. Can we make more of this? Yes, we can. How much can we make in total? No, total. 139. Let's not burn up all of the steel ingots. Let's burn up a hundred of them. I've completely lost track of um, when Horde Night's going to happen again, too, by the way. Hopefully it's not tonight. <laughs> uh, though our base, our Horde base, um, I don't know if I've been back to repair it, but it didn't get destroyed. So it'll really just be a matter of a little bit of touch up and then we're good to go uh, on that. Okay. Let's head on back down. All right, let's run over to the Horde base really quick uh, and just take a quick look at it. I don't remember if I repaired it or not. We're not going to do that in this episode regardless. I just wanted to see what kind of shape it's in. This building, we need to have a touch-up on the bottom of this building at some point, too. I mean, it's held up amazingly well, but at some point... It needs, probably is going to need some reinforcing. Hmm. Maybe I did repair it. Oh, one of you guys were telling me in the comments that it's my sludge turret that's been setting off the, uh, the demos. And that I need to move it to the other side. So, thank you for that comment. Um, I was, I, I knew that could happen, but I thought this was the right side to put it on. But apparently, it isn't. And it explains why... Sometimes they just blow up. See, I thought it was my explosives that was doing it. Um, but apparently not. So, yeah, thank you. Thanks for letting me know that. Um, we have... Did we not use the darts last time? Maybe we didn't need to or something? I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like this is fully repaired, so we are good to go for Horde Knight. So if Horde Knight does sneak up on us, it is not going to be a problem at all. So that's good to know. Um, this, yeah, this has plenty of fuel in it, so that's good. Do I have anything in here? Yeah, just repairing stuff. So, yeah, we're, we're actually very good to go for Horde Night. That's good, so we can just go out and play and have fun, and and uh, when the Horde Night comes, we just go do it. All right, that makes me feel better. Do we have any points? We have one point. Uh, what are we working on? We're working on fortitude, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, let's get the next level of, we see we got healing factor, pain tolerance, shotgun. What does this do? Gift of life. Instantly gain five to your maximum health. That's the poison thing. Uh, let's go ahead and put another point in shotties. We're going to eventually get most of that stuff and get it, you know, at least to level four. But that's our focus right now is the fortitude tree. Okay, let's go get our vengeance. See if we can recover a little bit of our pride. Not that that's ever going to really do us any good. Okay, so this is where we bought the farm. And uh, it was a irradiated copper that killed us. And he was 
right in here, as I recall. We didn't kill him, so that means he's probably going to be st still be around. You know what we need to do is we need to buy some more uh, steel bolts from the trader. Because I actually still can't make those. The ones I have are ones that I purchased. So we need to keep an eye open for that stuff. It is really laggy in here. There he is. You mother. It's all your fault. Whoops. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where'd you come from? <laughs> Sucker. We got our revenge. You suck. Uh-oh. Is that another one? Wait, what? Did he just burp at us even though we killed him? <laughs> what in the world? I think he did. I think he burped at us even though we killed him. I have never seen that before. It kind of creeps me out. Not going to lie. Um. Okay, anyway. Oh, no, it was him. All right, wait, Big Mama, did you burp? Oh, nice. Ooh, even nicer. Okay. Big Mama burped. Okay, let's go through here. Oh! Okay. I don't think I've ever heard Big Mama burp before. That was weird. It was either Big Mama that burped, or the cop actually burped even though he was dead. Or maybe he wasn't dead, and when we hit him in the head with a sledgehammer, that's what actually killed him. I don't know. I'm a little confused about it. Something, some, there's some kind of weird shenanigans going on with that. Okay, let's go out here. Yeah. Underneath us? Wait, where's that coming from? Oh, yeah. Come on, lag. Any opportunistic kills that we can get through there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, up on the roof we go. Can't believe Big Mama burped. How rude. All right, here we go. go we're not messing around man we are not messing around oh look at the loot skis down here all right let's see what we got chamois box Wall safe. Right there. We've been uh, getting getting more or uh, more successful with counterclockwise lately. 
Okay, nice retracting stock mod there. Duster and a book. Okay, I guess that's it for in here. That just goes to a suspended ceiling. I think we already woke up all the enemies up here. Or at least on this side of the roof. What do we got over here? There's some Zeekers down below. Not too worried about them. All right. Drop down here. This takes us down to the basement. I think we're getting close to the end now. Yeah, I remember. We're going to have a big rush of Zeeks coming up through here. Trying to remember when they trigger. I'll tell you what, let's not take any chances and let's go ahead and down these now. I'm going to take a steroid too. Okay, here we go. Just the one? All right, are they stuck? I don't think I can time the explosives good enough. They're all just kind of pathing weird here. There are a couple of hiding spots. Try something. Wake up, bitches. pretty smooth <coughs> let's see is there anything down here worth looting where we get the fat fat loots Ooh, this is the this is the black light room all the wine cellar stuff this is a cool POI I like this POI All right. Okay, let's get the good stuff. We are going to pop ourselves an eye candy. Uh. 
Really? That's shit. Man, look at that. <laughs> we were looking for a nail gun for such a long time. Uh, just in case we ever maybe lost ours or something. Um, I'm going to learn that. So that way, that way we have the power. We can take, take, uh, charge of our own destiny. That's what I'm trying to say here. Okay. We're going to need to pop a jailbreaker for this guy. And let's get it open. Nope, looks like we're going clockwise on this one. Here, get back to about there. There we go. Sarah's treasure map. Okay, that's... Overall, I mean, Sarah's treasure map actually is going to probably get us some pretty good stuff. But the rest of that stuff was just shit. Okay, so this is going to probably open this door. And, oh yeah, and we just hop out on this side. I remember all this now. Okay. Well, we got our revenge. And um, <clears throat> probably the best thing we pulled out of that place was the nail gun schematic. And yeah, there you go. All right, you guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this episode i'm gonna go back to the base drop this stuff off and then not sure what we'll do in the next episode but we will figure it out so thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode see ya